investors and traders, and welcome to the weekly market report with the market guys. I'm AJ Monty. This is a one year daily candle chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF, ticker symbol DIA. And like I do each and every week, I've left my lines on the chart so you can see how the forecast worked out for us. And once again, we are spot on with what we forecasted last week. And you can see here as I zoom in, I said that the Dow and the general markets would pull back this week, and that's exactly what's happened. You can see here, this is the line that I drew last week, and I said that once the fan line has been broken up here at the top, there's a very high probability that the stock will drop to the next fan line, and that's exactly what we see right here. Now, what does that mean? for us moving forward. Well, the markets are still open, and the reason I'm recording this in the last minutes of trading is because I want you to see what's happening with this particular candle. The buyers are fighting back on the close of the market. So if we continue to have this long shadow, that's a vertical line that protrudes from the bottom of the candle, that tells us that there is a chance that the buyers will come back and try to fight back a little bit. So I think what we'll see for next week is just a little bit of a bounce off of this fan line here and then I think what we're going to see is a pullback from the moving average here, that blue line. And then we'll have to see whether or not we continue on down to this fan line down here which is right around that would be Dow 19,700. So that could be a pretty significant pullback if the markets do just that. Now, again, this is my forecast for next week, a little bit of a bounce and then a breakdown of that line. Let's go to the spiders, ticker symbol SPY, and you see the same thing has occurred. We had the forecast line here from last week, said we would go lower. We did just that. We're almost closing right at that point to the penny and this is called the doji this is now a spinning top which by the close of today's market might even wind up being a doji that's a sign of indecision and we're also seeing that at this particular fan line right here so my forecast for next week is that we will go just a little bit higher here and then pull back from here I'm going to erase this line because that'll just get in the way and make it a little bit cleaner for you so that it doesn't confuse the signal here. That is going to be a bounce here and then a pullback here. This moving average will start to come down as the price is drawing it down and so I think that the moving average will match at this point as the market starts to move up and then we'll see that pullback. Okay, let's see what we have for the Russell 2000, ticker symbol RUT. I said that we would pull back. This is exactly what's happened. Again, we're right on track of that trend line that I drew from last week. What I'm going to do here is leave that right in place, right where it is. I think that over time, the Russell 2000 is going to follow my trend line right there and ultimately retest or maybe even bounce off of this fan line here. I'll erase this line right here for you. Again, just to clean up the chart a little bit. I'll leave all these other lines in place. And you can see how well this, this tracks and how well technical analysis works for forecasting the markets. Finally, let's take a look at the Qs. Ticker symbol QQQ. This is the NASDAQ market. And I said last week that we would pull back again. We've done just that. I'm going to leave that line in place but I'm going to extend it just a little bit out here to give us some more room for that market to pull back because over a five-day period, these candles are going to stack out this way. But that's my forecast. We're going to pull back. And what that means is with this bearish engulfing pattern right here on the NASDAQ and the markets are closing now below that blue line or the 20-period moving average, the bearish sentiment is starting to creep in. There's a lot of talk in the press about the national debt. There's talk about the battle in Washington with the health care 
and what's happening there there seems to be a political stall the market does not like that the market likes commitment it likes decision making it likes closure even and it does not like confusion at all and that's what we're seeing the doji here in the queues this is that little cross that we see right here that's a doji it's a perfect doji right now that is a sign of indecision and it's still happening under that 20 period moving average so that's why i'm drawing these lines low for you right there finally the vix the volatility index is a leading indicator that helps us gauge the overall sentiment of the investor community and this line is what i drew last week and it's tracking that line perfectly now one thing you have to watch out for here is that yesterday that was thursday right there right there on the 23rd we had a bullish engulfing pattern on the vix and that bullish engulfing pattern is happening right at a key resistance area so next week I think that we're going to move higher here on the VIX. We're going to bounce off that line, and I think we could move higher and even break out over that resistance point. If that happens, the VIX could go a lot higher, and that, of course, is overall bearish for the market because the VIX is inversely related to the S&P. Now, if you're interested in learning more about the market guys and what we do, just go to themarketguys.com. Click on the video tab right here at the top of the page, and that's going to bring you to a video library that talks about the things I've just mentioned. The fan patterns, it'll talk about the rubber band effect, it'll talk about gaps, it'll talk and give you ideas about the 1% rule, which is the way we manage risk in the market, and there's a whole library of very short videos that you can watch on your schedule. So stay tuned to the market, guys. We are your educational source with regard to investing and trading in the markets. And we look forward to serving you in the near future. So on. For almost three decades, A.J. Monty has motivated audiences worldwide about creating personal wealth and winning in business. His time-tested risk management strategies focus on ideas that involve a keep it super simple approach, also known as the KISS principle. These concepts have been delivered to people in over 16 countries around the world, reaching audiences in the millions. AJ is a best-selling author of two books, The Market Guy's Five Points for Trading Success and Take Charge of Your Money Now both of which have been featured on PBS television, Fox Business News, ABC TV, as well as Sirius Money Radio. As a financial educator and consultant, he has worked with some of the most recognized names in the financial industry. Companies like Bank of America, Charles Schwab, E-Trade Financial, Scotiabank, and TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim. If you have ever been challenged with having to make a tough decision regarding when to buy or sell a stock, then help is on the way. The Options Oracle and Equity Oracle Alert Services are designed to help you make those tough decisions. AJ will not only help you find the best trade candidates, but he will also lay out the exit strategy for each position in an easy-to-understand format that anyone can follow. Hi, my name is AJ Monte, Chief Market Strategist for The Market Guys. For almost 30 years, I've traded stocks, options, futures, and even currencies. I've traveled the world teaching people just like you how to profit in the market using time-tested strategies that focus on risk management. You see, the secret to making money in the market depends on your ability to limit losses when you're wrong. In other words, if you want to make a lot of money in the market, don't lose a lot of money in the market. Now that may sound funny, but it's true. Most investors are challenged with two questions. The first question is, how do you find a good stock? Well, the best way to find the right stock starts with eliminating all of the stocks you would not invest in. This process of elimination is called stock screening. And our services help you overcome the odds so you're putting your money where the money is going. We're simply following the trends. The second question most people ask of me is, when is it time to sell? Well, if you don't have an answer to this question, then you might find yourself in a position where you're holding on to your stocks when things go against you. This is the worst thing you could possibly do because I believe this is no longer a buy and hold market. It has evolved into a buy and protect market. Holding on and hoping for things to get better is not a strategy. In fact, 
Doing this will eventually lead you to a catastrophic loss, and you wouldn't want that. Our trade alert services help answer these two questions. Not only will I help you find the right trade candidate, but I'll also show you how to use the charts to manage risk. I don't use the charts to predict the future. I use them to protect the future. The charts tell me when it's time to get out as well as when it's time to get in. And that's what I'd like to teach you as well. We have two services, the Equity Oracle and the Options Oracle. The Equity Oracle is an alert service for traders who would like to trade only equities, whereas the Options Oracle is our premier alert service for both equity and option traders. Each alert is laid out in an easy to understand format that shows charts depicting entry and exit points. Risk management is our cornerstone of each service, so you don't have to struggle with the decision of when to get out or when a trade goes against you, when should I take my loss? The strategy is to use the KISS principle, keeping it super simple. As a bonus, you'll have access to a live Q&A session as well, each and every month. This is where you can submit a stock symbol, and I will analyze these stocks while we discuss the best trading strategies for each position. And it gets better. In addition to the alert service and the live monthly Q&A sessions, we're also developing a member page that will include instructional videos about how to get the most out of our service. Without question, this is the best trade alert service available on the market, and we look forward to having you as our newest subscriber. Simply click on the link below to subscribe. It's easy. Once again, I'm AJ Monty, Chief Market Strategist for the Market Guys. Thanks for watching. Enrolling in the service is easy. Simply click on the link below to subscribe, and your weekly alert will be delivered right to your email box. And if you act now, we will include AJ's best-selling book, The Market Guy's Five Points for Trading Success. This is a first-time offer that will get you on the road to success and keep you there. Remember, if you continue to do what you've always done, things will never change. Positive results will only come after you've taken the first step in the right direction. We look forward to having you as our newest member.